What is up y'all? How y'all doing today? This video right here, I think this is going to be a lot of fun to film. If you guys have been enjoying the videos recently, please make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. Today we are over here, we're starting this video off in the parking lot of good old Ollie's Bargain Outlet. It's been some time, man. We haven't given Ollie a visit in a long while. In the past, I think we filmed two videos here. This is one of those stores, man, where every time you go in, it's completely different. If you're not familiar with Ollie's or the whole Bargain Outlet situation, basically, in short, companies who have over stock goods or they just don't want their products anymore you know maybe they change their packaging or maybe they just have a whole inventory that they just want to get rid of and liquidate this company buys that stuff and then sells it here for cheap so basically it is completely random you have absolutely no clue what is going to be in here and this kind of stuff to me is fun man it's like treasure hunting now the past couple times i've been here they do have a fishing section and the one time they had some really really good stuff and last time we even got like a bait caster from here they usually have like an assortment of rods and reels and baits and just random fishing stuff and the cool thing about it it's like all cheap it's all super discount on, on the products, you can see like the original sales price and then they, they have the Ollie's sales price, which is significantly cheaper most of the time. As I said, I've been here twice. The first time was like around this time of the year. That was like a long, long time ago. They literally had like Senkos and just like a bunch of fishing stuff. The second time was in like the spring. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see like maybe if the whole health situation affected. I don't know. Like maybe they'll have like a crazy abundance of fishing gear. Maybe they will literally have none because everybody's out fishing right now. We're turning into pirates right now though. We're going to walk in here, try to find the treasure. I did actually get yelled at for filming in the store one time so hopefully we'll swerve the cairns by the way i think is it technically the first day of fall if so man this is like my favorite time of the year to fish things are starting to heat up we got a lot of stuff that i want to do here in the fall but yeah let me stop talking man let's mask up let's get in here let's see what ollie's got for us here today all right y'all so here is the fishing section definitely looks a lot different than the last time we were here start over here man we got some bug zappers not exactly uh fishing four dollars 99 cents zap some bugs use those as bait this is kind of cool man it actually looks like there's some cool stuff not as many rods and reels but there's actually like a lot of baits we're gonna have to go sift through here over there as well this is just what i'm talking about though. there's so much random stuff we got sleeping bags wetsuit shirts over here just a bunch of bottles we got wiffle ball bats yo tell me this is not actually sick Got a freaking warthog, is that Master Chief? Was $30, now $9.99, yo. They just got all types of stuff, all types of aisles. But yeah, we're gonna be focusing mainly on the fishing section and something that just popped out to me right away. We have some spoons, $3.99. They were $4.49, I don't know. Danielson, Danielson. We got some Zebco spin cast rods and reels. That one comes with a little tackle box. Down here, look at this. I've heard that these things are actually good. Smithwick suspending. This is like a little jerkbait, top 20 rogue, let's see was $9.99, they're selling it for $5.99, so that's like half off almost. Looks like we got some more Smithwick jerk baits right there. Oh my gosh, yo, that thing is sick. It's like a little yellow perch sort of imitation. Was $9.99, now $6.99. Little Lucky Craft, dude, I'm telling you, they got some name brand stuff in here sometimes. Depth, four to five feet, Aurora green perch. Yo, that is actually really, really sick. We might have to pick it out, that just looks too cool. Ooh, while we're up here, they have some little pony spools. What is this? 79 cents. They were 99 cents. South Bend. That's like the kind of like the Kmart brand stuff. Okay. What do we got here? Live Target shrimp. Was $13, now six. If you need some shrimps, man, they got you. This is the shrimp plug. Got a bunch of different colors. All six dollars. I mean, if we were in freaking Florida, dude, I would totally pick some of those up. Holy crap. Dude, look how big this thing is. It says limited edition Lex phantom this thing is freaking huge dude holy crap yo we're gonna have to pick one of these up dude six dollars was thirteen dollars so this is more than half off low-key when i first looked i didn't think they had that much stuff today okay so these are all the smithwick all right we got a bunch of jerk baits man oh hold on look at this stuff they got here man storm deep thunderstick look at the freaking lip on that thing it's 12 to 19 feet this was six bucks now four bucks they have a bunch of these different oh look at this one bunch of different colors of these that's more like a bluga looking there's so much what is this music that's going on here there's so much random crap let's see up here pick the little hidden secret section oh little lucky craft crankbait was 10 bucks now seven bucks we'll put this over here this is just like the cool finds area yo this is sick we have a yozuri pencil was ten dollars now six dollars this is the 3db here's another crankbait look at that color I still have no clue what the heck music they're bopping in here. We got a random Berkeley Pitbull 7.5. What is this? Oh. Baitmate 
Ultra Live Baits, three and a half leech. This was three bucks, now $1.29. Do you guys ever, like I said this in a video not that long ago, who the heck actually fishes with leeches here that's watching this video? Should I start doing that? Where do I find leeches? Okay, hold on. This is like the section right here. So we got a bunch of Zebco 404s. We got a Zebco Splash. Looks like a little starburst. Just a bunch of spin casts. We got, what is this? Storm Arashi. I have a feel of it. This thing, oh, let's pull this out a little bit. Just out here. Dude, look at all this random lucky craft. We got a little popper. This was 10 bucks, now $7. Let's see what we can find in here and take that out. All right, what is this? Dude, look at this stuff we're finding. It's another square bill. I really, really, really like the look at this one. Was $10, now $7. These things are actually fire. This is Yozuri Crystal Minnow. Was 10 bucks, now 6 bucks. Dude, this is good for all types of stuff. Even freaking like in short. We got a little Lucky Craft lip list. Was 10 bucks, now $7. Blue Dream. All right, so I just took a little while going through that box. Let me show you guys all the stuff we got right here. So two packs. One is three and a half inch. One is two and a half inch. These are like minnow things. Look like they're in some juice. One's three bucks. Again, $1.29. These ones look really, really small. We've got two spinners. One blaze, one 16 ounce, one 18th ounce. It's like real, real small. We've got a blaze hard baits lipless. Yozuri mid crank dies six to eight feet. I really, really like that color, man, especially for fall and springtime. Nice little crawfish slash right. What do they actually call it here? I don't even see. This thing right here is actually really cool. This is a Lucky Craft Skeet Reese Square Bill Crankbait. You see like the markings on the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. 09 Bassmaster Classic Champion. That's going to be us right there. Accepted 2029. We're coming for you, man. We're going to be in some random ollies someday. I'm going to have to pick this thing up. So clearly Lucky Craft or some store that carried Lucky Craft just wanted to get rid and liquidate some stuff. And it ended up in this Ollie's in Delaware. Along with a slime kit, along with these giant strike pros and the freaking Zebcos and the puddle jumpers. And the random giant collection of live target shrimp. Like I'm telling you, if you need some shrimp, come out to Ollie's here in Delaware. Like, dude, we are freaking loaded. This is cool, man. It's so much fun coming here. Last time, they had like a giant thing of rods and reels up here. Before they've had like a big thing of rods and reels over there. The one time I was here, they had like Senkos and a bunch of other stuff. Looks like mostly hard baits this time of year. We actually did miss some stuff. This is Shad Scales uh, scent. We've got a stringer, um, some bells. Those are fun if you want to annoy everybody fishing around you. Looks like we got some kind of scale there, some more spoons. And over here, some vicious four pound test. Mm, this is going to be a tough decision here dude hold on i just look at the back of this this is the blaze hard baits uh lipless here this was 21 dollars and 99 cents and now it's 10 dollars. what is that accurate why would this lipless be 22 dollars oh all right y'all so we spent a little bit of money right now we're weaving through the uh corn fields here of middle Delaware, but we're about to go to the fishing spot right now. In the comment section below, definitely let me know what lures from Ollie's that I showed you guys, like that you would pick up. I'm excited to break these lures out though. I have not used a lot of this stuff. I've used similar gear with different brands and stuff, but not like this exact stuff. I think it's all brand new to me. If you guys ever wondered what Delaware looks like though, this is like probably half of it. It's just a bunch of like cornfields and a bunch of farmland and stuff. We have like one hill. Look at just look how flat. All right, and we have made it to the spot here today. We've been to this spot a couple times before. I haven't been here in a while. I've only fished here probably like three times. We'll have to get over these corn dog, cat dogs. As I said, like in the grand scheme of things, we've barely fished here. I feel like there's some giants. I've actually caught like some pretty decent fish in here, but I think there's even bigger. I mean, regardless, I just want to catch the fish, you know? It's a bit windy out here. It's a nice overcast-ish day. Literally, these past two days have actually felt like fall. So I think, yeah, I think today is the first day of fall, right? September 1st. Let's take a look here. We uh, spent a few dollars. I think the total I spent was like $35. I'm really excited to use some of this stuff, man. So let me start off. Uh, let me see. Boom. Let me start off with the biggins. We actually picked up two of these guys, the Strike Pro. I'll show you guys a better look in a little bit, but this guy right here says this is an autumn bass color. So I thought that that, you know, kind of be cool to throw maybe fresh water. And this one right here, it actually says that this is a bunker pattern, which like bunker is a very common bait fish here in Delaware, especially when you're going for striped bass, bluefish, stuff like that. So I wonder if 
I don't know if these are saltwater grade hooks, but I bet you, I mean, it even looks kind of like a little snook. I bet you that this would work. If there's like a school of stripers, bluefish, like no joke though, these things are freaking giant. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Those were $12.99, but then they were $5.99, so then they were 12 together. So two for cheaper than the price of one. Shout out to Ollie. All right, next thing we got here is this little dude right there i just thought that this was so freaking sick this is an aurora green perch depth four to five feet i really know if you could see that too well or not it's just a cool little lucky craft jerk bait so that one was six dollars and 99 cents a dollar more than the giant bait all right now this next lure right here that i purchased is kind of is it's a bit questionable when i actually got out of the store i looked this up blaze fishing gear hard baits so i was like yo this must be like a pretty sick brand like it must be pretty good right because they priced it at $21.99, that was like the original price. I don't know, can you guys see that right there? I was like, yo, who would pay $22? Like if it's a $22 lipless crankbait, it's gotta be pretty freaking good. Me being a super professional bass fisherman, <laughs> I bought this thing and I think they priced it incorrectly, I think. I don't know, for my research, I think that this is a product uh, made from South Bend, who's kind of like the Kmart fishing lure people. I think I kind of got ripped off with this one. This might like level out the steals from the, I, I don't know. We'll see how it does though. Maybe that's the one that's gonna catch us all the fish today. Now the last thing, of course, that we got here, this is the Lucky Craft Anchovy Chartreuse Belly Depth Four Foot. So this is a Skeet Reese Crank Bill. Crank Bill, yep, that's what it is. I'm well on my way to the classic. But yeah, I think that this might actually be pretty good here today. I just thought it looked cool as well, like the packaging and everything. So in total, this is everything we got. For the most part, I feel like I mean, this is a pretty good deal. That blaze thingy is a little questionable. But yeah, we got some pretty usable lures here, really, at any time of the year. And we also got some fun stuff as well, which I have no clue if this is going to work or not, but it was on sale, you know? Whew. All right, y'all. So this is what we got tight on here. I got to cut this little tag in off real quick. Fresh out the box, we popped some tags over at Ollie's. This thing is actually pretty freaking heavy, dude. It's got a nice little rattle to it. Look at all these, like, divots in there as well. I mean, I figure... It's got to swim pretty good, right? Now this is a lure where if I was fishing in Florida, uh, I, I feel like I could get bit. Delaware, not super sure. This water's super clear, what the heck? We are actually gonna be wading today without waders. Hopefully there's no snakes here. Wow, why is the water so clear? I guess that's kind of a good thing, right? Let's see, oh, I just scared all those bait fish. Oh my gosh. That looks very interesting. What do you guys think? I mean, it looks, I, dude. The only thing I wish that was a little bit different is that there wasn't a treble hanging down. Very, very, very weedy. I don't know what kind of, is it hydrilla? I saw one bass that spooked it. He was kind of chilling in this stuff. Hmm. This bait's gonna be very hard to, yeah, look at that. This bait is gonna be very, very hard to use in this pond. I think a couple of baits are gonna be hard. Maybe we'll have to switch spots here. For some reason, it is just super, super super clear and shallow like where'd all the water go okay we might have to make a move here all right so we got this lucky craft bait on here I'm trying to figure out there's a body of water right here how do i get to it without making people mad that live we get through that doesn't look like it. not exactly sure where this goes hello all right we're going for it Oof. Okay, that was a little sketchy there for a second. Can we walk out here a little bit? Please don't be any snapping turtles. Let's make some casts around here. So this is supposed to dive, I think it said, what, four feet-ish? No clue how deep it actually is here. Oh, yeah, that looks actually pretty good. It's got some darn good action on it. Looks like all the water's getting pushed over here. There's one. That's a fish. Okay. Okay. Okay, chill. 
Oh, that's not a bad fish. <laughs> okay. On the Ollie's square bill. Not really Ollie's. What was it? Lucky Craft. Whew. All right. Dude, that was right up shallow. I made sure right when I got to this spot, I kind of casted right around me a little bit. That was a fun fight, dude. First fish of the day. That's a fatty. Maybe like a one. A little over one. Thank you so much for biting, buddy. That actually caught me completely off guard. Look how fat, though. Do not tell your friends, please. Actually, tell them it's a good time. Whew, there he goes. The water is super, super murky, so a bait like this should do pretty good. Just down there rattling all around. All right, dude. Let's go. That is, uh, it's not bad lure. I actually really like this thing, so we're going to cast this around a couple more times. Hello? Excuse me, sir. Get out of here. Before we fish this spot too much, actually, I want to go see if we can get one on another lure. Also, some of you guys might be wondering where the video I uploaded, like, last went. Which one of these should we go with? I kind of... Mm, let's do the lipless first. Freaking $10 lipless. It's pretty heavy. But yeah, the last video I uploaded, dude. It's frustrating, man. YouTube did not send that video out. Like, some of you guys saw it, some of you guys got it. Alright, that does not look too bad. And that's happened before with YouTube, but like, it's just what happens sometimes when you upload videos. Like, they kind of get glitched out in the system. So what I did, I enlisted that video. It was like my little puppy picked my fishing lures. Pretty fun topwater action, too. It is topwater season. I'll probably end up re-releasing that video sometime in the future. Ah, uh, but yeah, that's just life of a YouTuber. What are you gonna do, you know? This lure actually feels pretty good, and it looks pretty good in the water. Especially with that shine. I feel like... As far as lipless go, that's not bad. Hello? But yeah, 10 bucks. I mean, what, you get red eye shads for like, what, six bucks? This is the Ollie special, though. Ollie meant for us to have this lure, dude. Wow, we might need to start walking around this pond a little bit. Oh my god. Okay. So one time I came here and I, I saw a big snake. Can you guys see that right there? That is a huge, like that snake freaking shed its skin. Probably staring at me right now. Like I don't have a problem with snakes. I said this a lot before. I, I'm just kind of sketched out to walk in this water now. I don't have any problem with snakes. It's just when snakes are in water, that is honestly like one of the most terrifying things. It's not something you want to see, especially coming at you. I don't freak with that. All right, this is, what is, third, fourth pond of the day so far. This is the one where they cut all those trees down. That guy on the scooter was riding around here last time. Once again, I'll say it, it's not the easiest pond to catch fish in, but it's one of the more rewarding ponds. And this, like, this place actually has some pretty big fish in it. It's looking a little dirty. Wow, it's very overgrown as well. Let's try to make our way down here, kind of-ish. All right, yeah, that works. Super chocolatey. I don't even know how I say it's chocolate. It's like nuclear looking. Very dirty-ish. This actually used to be one of my lipless ponds in the spring and in the fall. But then they had all those trees. They chopped down the trees. A bunch of wood everywhere. Hopefully we don't get snagged. Oh, the one thing about this pond, it's like completely hit or miss. Like it's kind of been more fall weather these past couple days. Just hoping that these fish are gonna start to, you know, feed like it's fall soon. There's one. There's one. Okay. 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 That's not bad. Oh, dude, they fight so hard in here. Come here, boy. That is not a bad one. Oh, he's barely hooked. Ow. Okay, that dude jumped off. Holy crap. I did not have my pliers with me. I don't know why. Every time I need the freaking pliers. I feel like I don't have the pliers. That was sick. Think about this body of water. I mean, they have so much stuff in here that this bait resembles. I mean, tiny little bluegill. They have shad, big shad, but some tiny ones too. Uh, white perch are even in here, like the size of this lure. 
So this is like a perfect bait imitation. That dude was hungry, he ate it. Definitely not a big one though. I'm telling you guys, I, I caught some fatties here before. Over the past couple of months, I mean, this place has been getting hammered with fishermen. So I don't know if anybody else caught big ones. That is a good feel though. I'll tell you guys, this is like a pond where it's just, if you catch a fish, it's, it's pretty rewarding. Especially on a $10 Ollie's load. Do we actually caught a fish on it? Every time I come out here, I talk about, you know, there's some big fish. I'm gonna show you guys the footage from the first time I ever came out to this body of water. There's a fish. There's a freaking fish on the jig. Oh my gosh. Come here. Please don't get caught up in all this crap. Oh, he's caught up in the crap. Okay, come here, buddy. This is a decent fish. Oh my gosh. That's freaking, holy crap. Oh my God. Holy freaking crap, dude. Oh, 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 oh my God, on this little jig. Holy, dude, what the heck? Oh my God, that is a freaking fatty. Oh. Dude, look at that freaking bass right there. Oh my gosh, that is a freaking chunker. Oh my God, I wish I had my scale with me. It's definitely at least a four pounder with that fat belly right there. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put her back in the water here. Look at that freaking belly, dude. It's not like the biggest, like in length wise, but just look at that. Fat mama right there. All right, whenever you're ready, girl. Oh, she said, get out of my mouth, boy. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, man. I don't know how big that fish was. I don't have the scale with me, of course. I don't have the freaking scale with me, but just remember, this is a wide angle lens, you know? No, I'm just kidding, man. But dude, that is just, that, that is such a good feeling. This right here is just what I was throwing. It's just a little jig. I was kind of pitching it around these branches. Just, there's all this algae and stuff here. Oh my gosh, dude, that's the, that's like the craziest thing. So I'm going to keep pitching this around here. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. This is crazy because I mean, I'm out here exploring a new pond. It's the second bait I've tried. The first one was that... Live target shad didn't get any bites. But like I got bit and she let it go. And then I was like, um, hello. So I jigged it around a little bit more until she came back. She bit it. When I set the hook, I was like, all right, this, this is a decent fish. It probably just feels heavy because all this algae. <laughs> that was a freaking fatty. What is even going on here, man? Now, now we got to find Bertha. Big Bertha's in here somewhere. That was like her, that was like her younger cousin right there. There's a fish. I was literally reeling this in. Dude, are they just stacked at the same spot? <laughs> Yo, please tell me there's another fatty right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, what is going on? Like pretty much the same spot. I was reeling this in. That cast I thought was over. The freaking jig. Oh my God, this one is not as big, but dude, that is another fatty. Second one of the day, bro. That, that's another chunk right there, man. She is thick as well. Look at that face right there all covered in that green slime. She's trying to bite me too. Whew. All right, thank you so much for biting my jig. Let's let you go back here, buddy. Oh. oh, there we go. Whew. This jig is putting in work. That's the hardest part, man, is finding the fish. The people who have fished here said it. I mean, this isn't an easy body of water to fish. So I'm just like thankful that, you know, I actually found a pattern here. This is so freaking fun, man. Oh my God, that's a good fish. This is a freaking good fish right here. I think this might be the biggest one of the day. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh, what is going on here? <laughs> Demolishing the jig, dude. Oh my God. Bro, is this, is this real life right now? Look at the freaking belly. Oh my God, the fishing gods have shined down upon me today dude just freaking chunks look at look at that this dude has been hitting the buffet man let it be known that on this day in history march 30th the fishing gods have shined down upon me this is a freaking another fatty my guy holy crap dude all right oh my gosh oh oh my gosh the wind is whipping towards this way this water over here is 100 percent the warmest water in this whole like body of water. And that's facts. I mean, especially under all this stuff right here. These fish are literally just all congregated. They are just choking the jig, man. The craziest part about this to me is that like they're all freaking chunk. The first one, I mean, that, that fish. There's another fish. There's another fish. I was gonna say the first one could have been freaking pushing five. This feels like a good fish, dude. Okay, come here, buddy. Oh my God, dude, they are freaking stacked. <laughs> all right. Yes, sir. Look how healthy, too. 
Jeez, man. I don't think I caught a fish that's below two pounds yet. Like these are, like as I said, these aren't the biggest fish lengthwise, but look at that, like that belly is just ridiculous. Holy crap. There he is. Yep. Dude, I think, I think this is the same one. Oh my gosh, nice jump. I think this is the same one that just j freaking jumped out of the water. Ah, Let's go. That was so cool. <sighs> freaking, like I don't even have to say it anymore, man. Just look at that. Another chubby, chubby, chubby freaking fish, man. That is a fat old belly on this mama. I can feel it in the air, man. Someday soon we are going to smack a Bertha. Again, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to go down there, smack that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications on if you do enjoy the content. A lot of cool stuff coming on the way. Hopefully YouTube pushes this video out. Yeah, I just cannot thank you guys enough for all the support, man. It truly does mean the freaking world to me. All I gotta say is, let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where